the ground. Homes toppled, strong winds demolished. Parts of Columbus, Nebraska last night were just decimated as wicked storms roared through. Today, cleanup efforts are daunting and it's slow going there. Reporter Kevin Bouton is live with the very latest. Kevin? And Craig, this massive tree that blew over about 9 o'clock last night has literally stopped traffic on the west side of Columbus. This tree, just one of many that have been knocked down in the city after those storms last night, and this is just day one of what will be a long cleanup effort here. The closer you get to Columbus, the worse the damage. We started off with two chainsaws, now we got about five. Devin Gilbert and his family worked in the heat to salvage what's left of their aunt's home. Glad my Peggy was in Kansas City at the time. This was the living room. Pretty thankful. Somebody was watching her upstairs. The south side of Columbus was hit hardest by the storm that charged through the city at about 9 o'clock. Kind of over about as quick as it started. It was so quick and violent. I mean, it wasn't a tornado, but it might as well have been. Most trees and limbs missed homes, but others fell right onto houses and cars. Only a chainsaw could clear the debris. Oh, it'll take a few more hours, a couple more hours for sure. So much to clean up for so many leads to this. A mile long line to get into the local landfill. About an hour. Uh, at least that, if not longer. 54 minutes this time. And as the day went on, the wait got longer. It's about an hour and a half wait. We just bide our time and hope we don't overheat. <laughs> but for some, the task is too big to even start today. Amber Long says her two kids were screaming inside while this enormous tree toppled over in their front yard, blocking the street and leaving this gaping hole in front of her home. I'm just thankful that it didn't fall the other way because we wouldn't have had time to run. And this tree really is enormous, about 15 feet across in the roots, leaving a huge hole in the front yard. She tells me the city crews came out last night to try to clear this thing. They showed up with chainsaws, but they saw what was in the way. It kind of scratched their heads for a while. Said they come back with bigger equipment, but have yet to show up today. In Columbus, Kevin Bouton, KNW.